show what's good everybody show is kids and Rachel here so i have a shit ton of packages that i need to open but i'm going to go ahead and open this one tonight because i actually need it for something um <clears throat> it shows several items actually uh several items i ordered uh was put in this box and uh yeah so we shall see all right There's a bunch of stuff in here. So, I got a battery charger for my, um, my Canon power shot. <clears throat> and then on this side right here, so if I can get it out, I may have to pull the big box out first. So, let's go ahead and set it off over here. And this box right here is an an R motive, I think it's R motive. Let me see. Professional industrial endoscope, okay. IPA, uh, IP67 waterproof pro. All right, it's got a 4.3 inch LCD display and a 1080p image slash video output. So, yeah, go ahead and set this off to the side. I'll probably open that in another video. The main thing I want to focus on is this package right here which is a uh, anti-static adjustable constant soldering iron and the reason why I got this is so I can fix my um, my DNA 250C from Phoenix Mods because one of the uh, battery leads came off the board which I looked at last night and I was so fucking glad that it didn't rip its trace off so it was probably just a poor shot solder joint so it should be easy to take care of okay Operations instructions. All right, that's nice. We got some tweezers. Very nice, very nice. Get uh, you know, different tips here. Okay. What else we get? Uh, what is this? This appears to be um something that you get I think this is for the uh so you can hold whatever you're working on so that's nice I'm not sure what this is this looks like a wall mount of some sort I'll have to look more into that okay so we do get some soldering wire or is that what this says yeah wire lead free solder wire all right We get the soldering iron here. Let's go ahead and pull this entire unit out so you can see it in its hole. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Uh, it is power adjustment, so we shall see how that works. And yes, I was correct. This is a uh, like a wall mount uh, type of thing, so that's nice. I'm not actually going to end up mounting it to a wall, so we'll go ahead and put that back up. And, uh, what is this? A solder sucker. Desoldering pump. Okay, that's nice. I like that. Um, that'll definitely, definitely come in handy. Uh, so, yeah. Oh, and then you get a nice little sponge that you, uh, put water on. And, uh, this will allow you to clean your soldering iron tips. So, that's nice. So at some point I will get around to working on the uh, mod itself so I can get it back up and working. And then I'm waiting for a, a 4S LiPo battery to come in. And that should be, I'll have to check the uh, tracking number that should be either here tomorrow or possibly uh, Tuesday. Like I said, I'll just have to see. Go ahead, put everything back in here. And set it off to the side for right now. <clears throat> but, um, yeah. So, wish me luck. Lux? Wish me luck. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. Peace. Alright, so, I, uh, got it fixed. Uh, it honestly doesn't look too bad. Um, it feels sturdy. So, 
with that being said, let me go ahead and open up this package because this actually has something I need in there for that. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this shit, shall we? Let's see, there we go. Voila. Got some Life One the One Epoxy here. And uh this is actually uh, uh let's see. Epoxy. Yeah, okay, so it's an encapsulating compound. So or potting encapsulating. So this will be good to uh sort this shit out. Like I said, I mean it feels strong, it doesn't feel like it's going anywhere, so yeah, um, if this works, I'm gonna be fucking proud. I'm not gonna put the battery in right now, because like I said, I wanna go ahead and, uh, get this stuff mixed up. So, um, actually, hang on, there might be a tip in here. Let me see. Yep. This is exactly what I need. Because this actually mixes the uh, epoxy into in the in the tube here, so that's nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do this off screen, or you know, fuck it. I'm gonna go ahead and time lapse it. Yo, what's good, everybody? Chillers, Kate and Reaper here. So. I actually have another package to go with the soldering stuff, so let's go ahead and unbox it now. Because the sooner I can get this shit unboxed, the sooner I can fix the mod. And whenever I go to fix the mod, I'm going to show you guys what exactly happened before I do anything. <clears throat> I'm probably not going to record just for the simple fact it has been ages since I've ever, uh, since I've ever, like, soldered anything, so... But here I have a little tube of flux, all right. No clean flux paste, okay. And then I got this right here, which is, uh, I was going to end up using this to replace the plug on the, um, the mod, but uh, after I realize that it, um, it looks fine, I will go ahead and keep this because I do need the, uh, uh, let's see, what is it? This connector right here for when my new battery comes in for S LiPo. And, uh, yeah, so, got some, uh, soldering wire here. Because I wasn't sure if it came with soldering wire. I know it wasn't going to come with flux. So, with that being said, I'll see you guys later. Peace. Alright, so I tested out the Phoenix mod after making the repair, and it does work, so now I'm going to have to see if I can't find some thicker potting compound, because the one I ordered is just too thin and runny, and it's not really helping me out here. It's not really necessary, you don't need it, but I prefer to have it to prevent any shorts or anything like that, so yeah. Anyways, peace. <laughs>